On the first Tuesday of every month, except January, Australia's central bank announces its latest decision on interest rates. Whether it's to lift them, lower them or keep them on hold, at 2.30pm Eastern, we all find out. But why should we care? Well, if the Reserve Bank of Australia makes changes to interest rates, the banks follow suit. That means if the central bank's overnight cash rate, as it's officially known, goes up, consumer mortgages, car loans and personal loans become more expensive. Of course, if the cash rate goes down, the monthly repayments on your loans become cheaper. So why don't the banks charge the same interest rate as the RBA? Well, first and foremost, the banks are companies or businesses which have to make money to survive. That being said, it's quite normal for them to charge consumers a few percentage points more than what they charge each other to borrow cash, much the same way a shopkeeper ups the retail price from the wholesale price. Why are interest rates on some types of loans much higher than others? Well, it all comes down to risk. At the moment, the interest rate on a home loan or mortgage is around 3% higher than the cash rate. Because a house is a real asset which tends to go up in value, mortgages are seen as low risk. On average, the interest rate on a car loan is around 5 percentage points higher than the cash rate. That's because a car is a depreciating asset, i.e. its value goes down over time, so it's seen as more risky. The interest rates on personal loans and credit cards are higher even still. When the Reserve Bank lifts or lowers rates, why don't the banks lift or lower their rates by the same amount? Well, once upon a time they did, but since the GFC, the banks have been required to have more cash on hand. To help them achieve this, they started clipping the ticket on savings for consumers, meaning they keep the RBA savings on interest rates for themselves. The government and regulator highly disapprove of the practice and are looking at ways to ensure any future central bank rate cuts are passed on to customers in full.